So, Sheila Moramadi, you sent me something about adjectives. And again, I'm not sure what the problem is. It would be lovely if you said, I don't know, we're getting a test on this and we could actually discuss it. All right, so adjectives. What do adjectives do? They describe nouns or pronouns. So if you say, I don't know, um, the little bird, what part of speech is bird? Which word is little telling me about? So if it's telling me about a noun, then this must be an adjective. If you said something like, um, uh, the boys, da di da di da di da di da, they are so intelligent. What part of speech is they? This is a pronoun. What does it refer to? The noun. Which word is intelligent telling me about? The they. So this is an adjective. Right, and then, Sheila, you've given me a whole lot of, of types. You've asked me about types of adjectives. So first of all, are they, are they asked in an exam? Usually, the examiners are not wanting you to say this is a demonstrative or this is a possessive adjective. They're usually just happy for you to say it's an adjective. But maybe your teacher, I mean, I don't know what grade you're in. You could be in grade eight and your teacher is giving you these lists and you need to learn them. All right, so this is learning. This is studying. Um, I can tell you about it, but if you've got to get it inside your head and into your memory, then you're going to have to study it. So the types of adjectives you've asked me to deal with, first of all, possessive. Let's say I say something like, here, what part of speech is Which word is our telling me about? If it's telling me about a noun, it must be an adjective. And it's coming from I, me, mine. We, us, ours. This is the pronoun. And the adjective that is coming from that pronoun is our. So the pronoun is ours, and the adjective is our. So your possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers, its, your possessive adjectives, my, your, his, hers, its. Descriptive is, is really the bulk of your adjectives. So if you do hot and cold and your colors, all your colors, red, white, blue, yellow, green, pretty, attractive, intelligent, they're all descriptive. They're describing. Interrogative, interrogate this rogo comes from the Latin, and it means to ask. So interrogative is anything that asks. So if I say, who is there? I'm asking a question. Do I know who is there? No, I don't. That's why I've said who. So this is a pronoun. Maybe you then say to me, Janet's there. And I say, Janet's there. So the who would be standing for the noun. So who is there? This is a pronoun. But sometimes I can say something like, whose house is this? 
This is still asking the question, but it is describing house. So it's an interrogative adjective. Which book do you want me to pass you? That's the noun. This is the interrogative adjective. In English, let me use another color. In the singular, in the plural. When you are demonstrating, you are showing. So this and that demonstrates that it's close to me in space, and those, sorry, this and these, and that and those over there show further away in space. The only place you absolutely have to know this is for reported speech. Because if you've got the this and the these in direct speech, then it becomes that and those in reported speech. Whatever is closer to you goes further away in reported speech. And I think that's all that you asked about. No, I lie. You asked about compound adjectives. So there's a bakery um, along the way to the studio, and they're offering ready-made dough. So this is your noun. Ready-made is made up of two words. You've got the ready and then the hyphen and the made. So this is a compound adjective. If I said that somebody was wearing a dark blue mask, this is telling me about the mask. It is made up of two words. And so that is a compound adjective. It can be made up of more than two words. If I said this is a um, hope, hopelessly um, useless, and I turned it all into one word, a futile activity, task then I could make a compound word out of those three words. So a compound adjective. Compounds are just words that are made up of more than one word. And when you've got more than one word describing something. What you do get in the exam is they ask you about this. Let me use the yellow, which is the hyphen. And they do ask you about the hyphen. In both foul and in home language, they can leave the hyphen out. And, and say to you what's wrong, or they can say to you what is the function of the hyphen, and it joins words to make a compound word. All right, so you need to say that. Don't say something like, it makes the two words into one word. You need to say, it creates a compound word. In home language particularly, they want you to use the meta language, the language that we use to discuss language. So it creates a compound word. And I think that is everything. Yeah, it is. So, um, Sheila, just tell me sort of why. Why are we doing this? Should you use a lot of adjectives in your writing? Oh, please don't. Adjectives can actually make writing weaker rather than stronger. Yes, adjectives make things vivid. They give color and life and energy and all the rest of it to your writing. But if you overuse adjectives, if you pile the adjectives on, you actually create bad writing. If you say, this is a small, tiny, little, minute piece of cake, and I asked for a huge, gigantic, gargantuan, enormous, large piece of cake, actually, all those adjectives are creating bad writing. So don't throw adjectives into your work with the assumption that they'll make your writing better. And the same thing goes for adverbs. Don't throw adverbs madly into your writing. He ran quickly. Maybe you want to write he ran slowly. 
because that would be quite odd. Otherwise, how do you run if it isn't quick? Do you see? So that very often adverbs also are seen as lively, little, exciting words to put in your writing, and they're not as effective as you might think. So I'd like to know a little bit more about why we're doing this. Right, and then the next question, I really don't know what the problem is. Okay, so this is the passage. It says, rewrite the following paragraph. There you are looking at it. Replacing the underlined adjectives with different ones. And I don't know why it's a problem. Because the adjectives have been, they've been identified for you. So why have you got a problem? Can I leave out street for a moment? Is selling yellow bananas. So you could say lovely bananas. Bruised bananas, brown bananas, just another word. I don't know what the problem is. And sticky sweets and expensive sweets, stale sweets, gorgeous sweets. I don't know if you can have gorgeous sweets, but just an adjective. He's sitting in a shady spot in a whatever spot you like, lonely. Um, don't, we better not use quiet. I was going to use quiet, but it's there. In a hot spot, in a busy spot, on the pavement next to a quiet road, a noisy road, a long road, a tarred road, a dirt road, a, I don't know, neglected road. His eldest daughter, his younger daughter, his lovely daughter, except you shouldn't use lovely if we've used them over there. His slim daughter, his, why don't we use a compound? Dark haired daughter, there's a compound adjective. An old shirt. A blue shirt, a lacy shirt. How do you spell lacy? Whatever. So I'm just, I'm just not sure what the problem is. Who is this from? This is from Njabulo Tsepe Semelani. What's the problem? You sent it to me, and I don't know what, what is causing you a problem. Right, can I talk about street trader? I guess that is an adjective, and certainly they want it as an adjective here. So you could say um, the, I don't know, successful trader. But really, this is the trader on the street. It's not actually an adjective. Now, they had something very similar to this in the home language paper two years ago, three years ago, when they put a word like street, if you said like the school classroom, school is an adjective. No, actually it isn't. It's the classroom in the school, for the school, at the school. But that old structure is only known by, by people who know anything about grammar. Um, so don't worry about it. I would accept if you said street there was a noun or an adjective, I would take either answer. And in the exams, they certainly took adjective. So don't, don't be upset if you think, hang on, but street's actually a noun. Are we using this noun as an adjective? Just say, yes, we are. So, Njibolo, just give me a clue what, what the problem is here. Send another message. Tell me. Is that what you wanted to know? It just says replacing the underlying adjectives with different ones. It doesn't say you have to choose them from a block or from something that your teachers taught you. It just says find another adjective. That's all. So it's a really very straightforward exercise. Tell me, tell me more. Tell me what the problem is.